I wanted to kick off our next video by asking which pest you hate the most. Is it spiders? Or maybe cockroaches? Bed bugs? Wait, I thought they were just a myth. Anyway, in a survey we did a little while ago, it was found rodents were the most feared pest among our clients. Rats and mice certainly freak out most of us. Personally, I think it's partly how fast they move when you see them that heightens the anxiety. Now, most pests we deal with at Suburban are arthropods or invertebrate animals, like spiders and insects. However, rodents are quite a large part of the work we do these days, particularly as we deal with more and more commercial facilities. For centuries, rats and mice have been responsible for enormous losses of food, and thanks to their ability to transmit disease, they have also contributed to incredible losses of human life. For this reason, many countries worldwide have legislated mandatory requirements for reducing levels of infestation. In Australia, this is mainly targeted towards commercial facilities, specifically food production sites. Of course, almost half of our rodent services at Suburban are still targeted to domestic properties. Now, the three main types of rodents we encounter in Australia are the Norway rat, the roof rat, and the house mouse. Whilst the house mouse is much easier to identify, being the smallest, there are three main differences between the two rats that help tell them apart. The Norway rat has a more heavy set body, a bit like a forward in rugby, with small eyes and ears and a blunt nose, a bit like a forward in rugby. The roof rat is more slender, like a rugby back, with big ears and eyes, like a rugby back. And lastly, the roof rat's tail is longer than its body, when the Norway rat's tail is not. The droppings also differ between the three rodents, and some of their habits may differ, but I wouldn't focus too heavily on that, as they can all inhabit most areas of a building, including the subfloor beneath the building, the interior, the roofoid, and of course, anywhere in the yard. Like any pest, they're looking for three things, food, water, and shelter. They typically become more of a problem during the colder months, which is why we always recommend a more proactive approach, particularly during autumn, to get ahead of it. Now, there are a few ways you can manage rodents, including trapping and baiting, but first, let's get into ways you can help prevent them in the first place. Hi guys, hope you're enjoying the DIY series. If you are, it would mean a lot to us if you can give us a like and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We make content here every week. Cheers, guys.